Hello, haters and tolerators. Oh god, that was a corny opening. It is I, John, back again with more L.A. Noir. And we are waiting for the screen to load. So you may see what we are doing today. To the driver's seat! Our first case in traffic. There's folks just walking along. Where do you park your car? Here's your new desk, kid. You're on traffic. The hot sheet is posted here, next to the map. What's his problem? That's Biggs. He's an institution. He was the guy narrating the your, your stuff earlier. Why couldn't they build a freeway that goes past my place? They haven't even approved the money yet, kid. The bond issue won't be till December. It'll be years before any of this will happen. Here's your new partner, Stefan Burkowski. I've heard all about you, Phelps. You go easy on Where me and go? let me earn the odd citation, and maybe we'll get along fine. I'm here to learn, detective. Oh, he's an intense one, isn't he, Mel? Who's intense? The newly minted detective here, Cole Phelps. Hi, Phelps. I'll be keeping an eye on you. I can spend a little time basking in reflected glory. Make a change from busting hookers and dope fiends. Who was that, Commander? Roy Earl, chief detective and advice. Do they all dress like movie stars? Well, Roy is a movie star. And the whole of the seedy side of L.A. is his audience. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Stick with me, kid. You'll find out. We never do. And now some housekeeping. Warm Central Division welcome for Detective Cole Phelps. Some of you guys may know Hi, Phelps. Rusty. He's the cop who broke the jewelry store murder. Stand up and take a bow, Phelps. If it's all right with you, That's sir. That's an order, Phelps. Ooh. Shh, shh, quiet, everybody. <laughs> And Phelps is one quiet. of only two serving LAPD officers who received the Silver Star during the war. Really gave it those lousy Japanese, eh, Phelps? Uh, my question is, my who's best, the other guy? Captain. Why are you war heroes always so modest? I partnered Phelps with everybody's favorite pole, Stefan Bukowski. <laughs> Hope you like work, kid. Bukowski sure as hell doesn't. Well, that's why we have partners, right? <laughs> okay, okay, oh, he'll can love work it, guys. I'm done with him. Stick with Bukowski. He's a good cop. He knows traffic inside now. I'm going to start you out with one case. Do okay? I'll give you a couple more. You screw up, you'll be rousting vagrants and running license plates. Now get down to the PE Freight yeah, Depot, 6th and Alameda. A patrolman a called in a suspicious vehicle. Signs of foul play. See what you can find out. Come on, Phelps. Before we leave. What's up, Rusty? How you doing? Hey. See your next desk. They really pushed you through quick, didn't they? Six years on patrol before I got this desk. You were here Hang in five on, minutes. Do, 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 do. I really hate this. Outfit. What do you want me to say? I didn't ask for any favors. And Hang on. There we go. Why isn't it letting me access my outfit? That's not... There it is. That's the one I love. Just love the yellow hat. Ooh. I think, I think one of them right would have seen it. Isn't he the cop they've been talking about? You on know the radio? this place? Sure. Another accommodation near the old gas works hey. and signal depot in the warehouse district. This is a busy I'll street, break. okay? Hang on, hang on. I need to christen Whoops. my new promotion. Ugh. Come on, one of you fall. There we go. Okay. Did I knock out? Down? No, no, he's he's already in the car. All right. Let's save the world. So, tell me a little about yourself, Phil. No. Are we friends now, Kelsey? The words gonna do it. That's called the first take. Let's play first Grew up in San Francisco. Father was. I'm gonna. Complete all of those on my own. I, I really OTC cannot come up with CS enough commentary to. Shipped out early it was interesting. I really can't come up with enough commentary to make half an hour. Interesting. Oh fuck, I missed. Shipped back home. 
But hey, you're suicidal beat. man. He was running towards oh. a moving car. So you won the silver star. I don't want to talk about it. Yes, and I'm still now, let me get this waiting for that. You single-handedly killed 40 Japs on this hill in Okinawa. No. You were up there all night. I don't Great care about uh, nice between you getting two. good rank because I can always get finished. that on my own. The Emperor Hirohito himself leading the charge against you. I did my part, Mikowski. What did you do? I kept the streets of L.A. safe for the people. Yeah. Now I get it. I'm a fiction service. Fuck you, folks. <laughs> I earned a bravery citation during the Zuda riots. All units are 459. <laughs> Handle, code two, identify. <laughs> 11K, go ahead, KGPO. 11K, a 459. Up on the roof, officer. He has a mask on his face. I caught sight when he shoved past me, but be careful. I saw him waving a gun. Gun. Let me get this motherfucker. Call me Doc Holiday, you SOB. Give it up now! Make it easy on yourself! Get the hell away from me! There we go. I don't even have to get off the roof. around punk Kowski <laughs> just <laughs> staring off into nothingness or he's like there's a cat over there all right now yeah. that's done we aren't answering anymore now on to I am. I just need. I need to start looking at that mini map. Oh. <laughs> wow, that thing is smoking. Okay. You have got problems, Phelps. Yep. Slow down before someone gets burnt. But you got a bigger problem. What's that? You're stuck with me. Our first. That you, Bukowski? Go on through. First crime scene. Parking lot straight ahead. I used to work uh, security at a at a gate shack. I need I hated to get back job. to work, officer. The detectives are here now. You repeat to them what you told me. Well, I mean, the job I did the right was thing by calling this fine, in. but I'm just a working the company just I give them your for story with. and you'll be all right. Unless you were planning on suing, they just ignored you. Not like my current job. I love my current job. This is your first case, Phelps. It's okay to admit it if you're stumped. If you don't know what to do next, just come talk to me and we'll see what we can figure out. Thanks, Stefan. You're okay. <laughs> I, 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 the way he said that, I just, I just feel like it was kind of patronizing, but no, I, I really do like that little moment with Bukowski. Okay, so I already got this one. No, that was that is a good moment with Bukowski. That's one of the reasons I really like him. Alright. I'm Officer Hart. Phelps, traffic. What have you got? Abandoned car, probably stolen. The solid citizen is Nate Wilkie. He called it in. What gives with the corner? There's blood all over the interior. Someone's copped the full Broderick, but no stiff as yet. We have an owner for the car? The car is registered to an Adrian Don't Black, just north of Bunker Hill. All right, we'll take a look around. I'll keep Mr. Wilkie talking, but they'll make him wait too long. He's the restless type. You know, I... I, I, I love Detective. all these suits, but... It, I actually do like the detective attire these days, which is just slacks and, and a nice shirt. A very bad way. Any sign of a guy? 
Not unless he's in the trunk of the car. Victim looks to have lost a lot of blood. Yeah, I cut myself shaving. <laughs> I'm actually really good at shaving. Yep. Not great. Just good. I can get my baby face. Thirty-two years old, married. Sounds like an average guy. That guy does not what look thirty-two years here? old. I mean, he he looks like modern day Drew Carey. Happier times, I guess. The Stenzel glasses. What are Home repair, by the look of it. I'll have to Google that. Let's see what's next. Ah, got something over here. It's been a while since I played this case. Even Brand with name the might remaster. Give us something to go on. See, I think all that's left is the trunk. Let's see. For a live pig, three dollars twenty cents. Live pig yesterday. Okay, so we know what day it is. It's January 6, 1947. And an entire pig is $3.20. Wow, the dollar's weak these days. Good afternoon, sir. Sir, I'm Detective Phelps. Name's Nate Wilkie. You found the vehicle? Sure. So I just sitting there. Strange place to be parking your car. Take a swig Figured of I'd my better take a look. cream soda because I'm a and fat guy. And then I saw all the blood. So I called the police. No, sir. Why'd you do it? Mind if I ask what you were doing <laughs> out here? Well, I work for the railway. I was on my way out to the switch and reckon I'd take a shortcut. What? Oh! <laughs> oh! I forgot what this outfit does. Yet? Maybe somebody hanging around the I, car? I just choose it because oh. I like how it looks. I, I like the yellow hat. All day till you boys turned up. I forgot that it actually removes that answer automatically. Do you know Adrian Black, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. That ain't a name I'm familiar with. You ever seen the car before? Funny enough, I did. A couple of nights ago, it was over there in the parking lot. I know most of the cars that park here regular, so it kind of stood out. I'm tempted to to see that what Phelps would say if you hit lie. The wallet by the car. Was there anything in it when you arrived? You accusing me of something, mister? <laughs> Do you want the patrolman to hold you down while we turn out your pockets, Mr. Wilkie? Maybe I checked inside that wallet. Not that I was going to steal anything. Maybe I took a look. But there weren't no money in there. Not even change. Who puts change in their wallet? You put it in your pocket, and you throw it in a jar when you get home. We found a steel pipe with blood on it near the car. Do you know anything about it, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. I went straight for the law when I saw the car was full of blood. When you saw the blood, was it wet, bright red, or uh, darker like it is now? Darker, I'd say. Looked dry already. Thank you for your help, Mr. Wilkie. We'll contact your employer if we need anything more from you. If you have to, I guess. I can't really spend no more time over this. 
Somebody's got to inform the wife, Phelps. You're done. We're going to notify the wife. You seem to have it under control here. Yeah, I got this. <laughs> I just love the look on his face. It seems. It just seems so cocky. It was like, please, I got this. Come on. Ah. Wow, it's already been 16 minutes. 620 Ooh. Bunker Hill <laughs> Avenue. You know where that is? Behind Bunker Hill. A couple blocks north of Central Station. So... Watch it! So... what? So... What do we tell the wife? We play it by the book. There's no stiff yet, so let's see how it plays out. My name is officer needs help. Three thirty-three no. South Main Street. I don't care if the officer South needs help. I got South a job to do. Could be a car theft gone wrong. Make Black drive somewhere lonely, then give him a tap. But why leave the car? Obviously, some got a little heavy-handed. It's the wrong way. Well, how so, genius? Where is Adrian? If you've gone to all the trouble to steal the car and it goes wrong, you leave the body behind, not the car. You got something there, Phelps. It doesn't add up. All right, we're done talking. Hey, look out for the pedestrian. <laughs> oh no 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 no! Did you read about the guy in the crossing yesterday? No, what happened? <laughs> Over oh on Lincoln dear, I'm getting out of this. This guy's driving along in his Some oil light. Comes on. Stirs he stops up. the car and gets out. <laughs> he pops the hood and he's on a rail crossing. Oh, you got it. He's got his head under there checking the oil, and the Southern Pacific freight slams into his car doing 90 miles an hour. The car came to a rest more than a mile by the track. What a pointless waste of life. You'll get plenty of blood and guts and mindless stupidity here from traffic cars. Really. Who needs a second amendment, but we'll give a goddamn fool the license to get behind the wheel of an automobile. <laughs> if it's a kidnapping, why leave the victim's ID? If it's a murder, why leave the car? The evidence doesn't add up. Free lesson, folks. Evidence will only get you so far. You ask me, the whole thing feels hinky as hell. What I wouldn't <laughs> give to have your powers of intuition. Don't worry, kid. Keep watching the master and you'll get there one day. That's oh, I'm gonna be better than you. Relax. You could have killed him! I think I killed that guy. Oh! Oh! Come on! Come on, baby! You can break it! Yeah! Hey, you can still hear it flaming in the background. <laughs> uh, I love this game. Let's go introduce ourselves. You talk to her, Phelps. I'm no good at this shoulder to cry on stuff. All right, so just a man about to go in front of a girl and tell her what the fuck do I tell her? <laughs> Just a minute. Hello, nice lady. LAPD, Mrs. Black. May we come in? We have some bad news, and we'd rather discuss this in private. I'm Margaret Black. Oh, we can discuss this in the living room. Please come in. Your husband drives a blue Lincoln, Mrs. Black? That's correct. The car has been found abandoned, and I'm afraid there are signs of foul play. I knew something was wrong when he didn't come home. Mm. We believe your husband may be injured. We found a pipe on the scene with blood on it. Oh, mm. no! My poor Adrian! Mm. Does the name Instaheat mean anything to you, ma'am? Yes, it does. We, we've just had a new water heater installed. Whereabouts, Mrs. Black? Just outside the kitchen window, at the side of the house. I'd like you to try and stay calm and remember everything that you can about last night. My partner and I are going to take a look around. When you're ready, we're going to have some more questions for you. Is that okay? 
Of course, officer. Anything to help secure my husband's safety. Well, let's check the place out. Come on. Have a good look around. There's got to be something in here to go on. Hey, uh, but Cassie, Cassie, I got something I want to tell you in private. So, uh, that, that lady, she really seems like just a speed bump, don't she? It's no real, no real backbone, you know? <laughs> Excuse me, what were you saying? Why am I British? Lie down, make yourself comfortable. So, you're a friend of Courtney's? Yes, Doc. What happened to Meryl? I have these visions. These blinding visions. I can't get them out of my head. My skull, it, it feels like it's in a vice. I want to give you something to calm your nerves. Mmm, that's good McGuffin. Mmm. And now the day to rape. And I want to take you on a journey. A journey oh God, I'm so sorry, everyone. That was a to that, that the good was about a past. terrible, unfunny joke Occasions and that made you very laugh. offensive. Times that made you smile. Doctor, are you trying to seduce me? Who brought this home? What do you think? Maybe Adrian was a patron. R and I should have an address. I really miss matches. You know what? I do like pipe. I don't smoke often. Maybe, maybe once a year or so. I do, but I prefer smoking from a pipe. And. I, I gotta use matches when I do it. You know, it, it's the it's the only way I know how. You know, the, these extra these gas lighters, I just I can't stand using them. You know, they, they just they're just a pain to me. This was only recently installed. About Not the last time I smoked was. Maybe it's time we took a look around outside. Wow, over a year ago. So. I wasn't a heavy smoker to begin with, so it, it, it's really not that big of a deal. Yeah, I'm already addicted to movies, video games, food, and. And I guess I should I could say sleep. Yeah, sleep. Oh, and geek stuff. So I got enough addictions in my head. There's no room for for tobacco or alcohol. But I do love me a good stiff drink. Those under this 21 in, in the United States where the age is 21. Y'all just wait. So the glasses are a match. It is worth it if you just wait. If you're if you're already partying with this stuff and having friends buy the alcohol for you, I'm not judging you. I understand it happens. I separate disagree. Bedrooms, separate pictures. But I understand it happens. What gives here? Do. But uh, being 21 is an all cra it's cracked out to be because you are already Adrian. You already this thing gets more, seen the more allure. interesting. Unless of course you've never had liquor or wine. Champagne is and it's 
I guess it depends on the brand, but there's like used there's tickets sparkling to wines on a like uh, Mionette. Someone it says uh, Prose Prosecco. Uh, I I love mixed drinks. My favorites being White Russian, Long Island Tea. Uh, hmm. What was that? I have yet to try a mojito because I don't I don't have a regular bar that uh has mint sprigs. I I'm sorry. It, I've done I've done this case a million times, so it's I just got onto this about no use leaving this the whole thing about finished. alcohol because I know I know about. It. You know, I quickly learned and I went to bartending school, so waste of $600 right there. <laughs> It's not a waste if you actually get a job. It, it's just a waste for me because security turned out to be my true passion. I've gotten several bumps and bruises on my face and a gun pulled on me to learn that. So the pipe missing from Mr. Black's heater is the same one that killed him. He's playing huh. security as a gas Seems station like because a I worked security before that job. got sick of people stealing beer I'd actually love to become a cop but I'm I think I need to slim down you know and uh, I uh, what was trying to thought trying to thought come choo choo and back please get back on the tracks <laughs> uh, what was it I'd, I'd love to become a cop but I, I think right. I just no, need to just work out a few things Mentally and physically, Operator, before give I me can dispatch. get into that. Although right Putting now, this now. time in my life, I do believe that Phelps, one, two, working four, security seven. is the better option. How could I help, Detective? I need an address on a Kavanaugh's bar. Certainly, Detective. I do one apologize moment. for going on that long and boring and corner of Aliso and Hewitt, south side of Union Station. Oh, the meat. Thanks for me, your help. Me and Brev, my the bread and butter of my commentary comes from me acting so evil as as Cole Phelps. All right, interrogation. I can be a smartass again. So, you falling off the wagon again, Miss Black? Your husband frequents Kavanaugh's bar. How did you know that? Adrian practically lives there after work. Mm hmm So Adrian spends a lot of time there. Up until recently, he's been away in Seattle a lot on business. Okay, so. Why'd you, uh, use a pseudonym of an F. Morgan? I mean, you don't even have an F in your name. Or an O. Or an inn. We found a receipt in the trunk of your husband's car for a live pig. This receipt was made out to an F. Morgan. A pig? Adrian runs a tool business. That would be Frank Morgan. God knows what he's up to. He actually only bought, he only actually spent that much for a good old pork platter. What he just used his wife Morgan, for the man. pig. He's the foreman at my husband's plant very shady character. I told Adrian he needs to keep his distance from the staff. Again, I apologize. That was a terrible joke. <laughs> Did your uh, husband tell you where he was going last funny, but All he said was he was going to uh, Frank for Shaving off some tendencies. Trying to. <clears throat> so nothing out of the usual then? Well, he came home early from work. He never comes home early. And he went out early, too. He normally never leaves for the bar till about 7. In all honesty, I love how honest this lady is. Was your husband wearing his glasses when he left here yesterday? Yes, he just bought a new pair. Go on. I kept telling him to throw those old ones away. He tried to repair them with tape. 
I look terrible. Oh god, I, I hate people that that do that. I know it's expensive to to get new glasses. I know, but sometimes it's just got to be done. You know, just I think you should come clean with us, Mrs. Black. Your husband These is missing, days, and after our search, I'm willing to call the circumstances try your suspicious. Best set aside can you account for your movements last night? afford new glasses. You You're can always go for me, the cheapest frames. Oh, what an awful but thing to say. To set aside some money for the lenses. I was here all night, of course, waiting for Adrian to come home. Yeah, right now I'm... Is there I, anyone speaking who can of glasses, for I'm... that? Well, no. <sighs> I'm so I, glad I got this new job. I was job. here alone. I cooked Adrian's dinner and waited, but he never came home. I'll probably get some new glasses in June so that I don't have to sit a foot away from my 40 inch screen just to see what I'm doing. Even with my glasses on. Tell us about the photo of Adrian in the bedroom. Oh, what man. is there to tell? It's from his most recent business trip to Seattle. You lying fruitcake! That was gonna There's say something else, didn't you? You just won't tell it. You're lying about the photograph, Mrs. Black. You're incredibly rude and insensitive. Ma'am, I've been very, I've been very cordial you with what you. I know about the picture. No, you haven't. And why is your model stuttering? Do 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 do. do. What about Nicole, Mrs. Black? Was your husband going to leave you for her? I've seen the photo frame. <laughs> he thinks I'm stupid. But women sense these things. Ma'am? I don't know if he intended drop to leave his me ass or if it was just a fling. Before he Not can drop knows. you. All right, honey. I want to know <laughs> that he's safe. Oh god, I hate acting stereotypically gay. We'll keep you informed, Mrs. Black. Please do, detective. Just because I like guys does not mean I'm gonna be sat. I, I'm sass in the way of, of making wise ass comments. I'm not sass like, mm mm, honey, no. <laughs> but when I'm drunk, I do start sounding like this and. I just become so grateful and appreciative of everything, and I'm. But I'm still self aware enough to hate that I sound like that. Ooh, national news. Jesus, I'm glad to be out of there. Mr. and Mrs. Black don't seem to have the happiest home life. No, he's too scared yeah. to divorce her, and she's too much of a shrinking violet to throw him out. If this hadn't happened, they could have stayed miserable together forever. You think she could have killed him? She sure together as hell doesn't forever seem to and never to part. Together forever with you. And don't you know I would move heaven and earth. Wow, I really had... Um... Uh, mm, mm. Hmm. Okay. I don't think that that's how it should have worked, but okay. okay. That was way too close. What do you mean way too close? I hit him. Oh, glitches. Oh, shit. No, my hood. My hood. I think you're doing this on gone. Bukowski, why don't you just shut up and take it? Alright. You know? You know what's gonna, it's gonna happen, right? Just be grateful that you're not on the receiving end, alright? Hey, I know you. No, you don't. Don't I talk to this guy in another case? We were at school together. Uh, how about you buy me a drink? For, for old time's sake. Uh, no. 
everyone's a doll. You looking for someone? Yeah. You know Frank Morgan? Sure. Frank's your regular. He's a loner in the back. Phelps, why you gotta be Does like that? Does the chicken come Frank Morgan? tomatoes? Who's asking? Your gay lover from San Francisco. Cole Phelps, LAPD. I understand you're a friend of Adrian Black. Yeah, I know. I got so many. Are you aware that he's missing? Jokes. No, I hadn't heard that. Tough break. Oh. Mm. Lord, give me the strength. But, oh. We found Black's car abandoned in a freight depot. Covered in blood. You know anything about that, Morgan? Hell no. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. I like Adrian. He, he's a good oh, boss. Please, don't tell me you actually believe this jerk off, Phelps. <laughs> what is with those face? What did they get Donald Trump to do the face scan? It's. What? What? <laughs> this is... <laughs> I just... What is going on here? <laughs> I I usually immediately hit accused, but lie in the original version, so I don't have time to see all this stuff. It's just it's adorable. <laughs> You're lying, Morgan. You were there. And you're talking out your ass, detective. How about you prove I was out at that rail yard? Piece of advice. Never tell a detective that you're talking out their ass. You were there, Morgan. We found a receipt in the trunk of the car. It has your name on it. We can call the slaughter yard and nail you on it. All right, already. That fool Adrian's fallen for some dame in Seattle. He wanted me to make it look like he'd been attacked. All right. Where exactly is Black holed up? No idea. You. I think mm. he took off to Seattle. You lying frangelico banana. Okay, I forget which one it was. I'm an idiot. Oh, okay. I'm tired of your shtick, Morgan. Spill it, or we take you out in the alley and we knock it out of you. He's holed up at my place. He's waiting for some money to come through before he blows town. An address? It's an apartment house at the corner of Temple and Figueroa. Apartment number two. I think mm. that's all. Thanks for your help, Morgan. We appreciate it. Hey, I'm just glad I could help. I love cops. Cuff him, let oh, him go. Oh, you're gonna it's hate us in Phelps. a second. There's no way I'm writing this idiot up. Boy. That steak had seen better days. What should I have for dinner? I got drinking to do. You're getting nothing more from me. Okay, you're getting arrested. You got Morgan's address? Oh Let's get god. over to his apartment. Yeah, it, oh my god, he actually had... A smug grin on his face. That is adorable. Well, let's go bust this nut. I mean, what? I've met some pretty good liars in my time. People who sound convincing because they actually believe their own bullshit. <laughs> the type is clever, hard to catch out. Frank Morgan is not one of those people. Oh, I knew I should have driven. Too late. No, okay. he is not. Oh God, he's stuck. He was stuck in the car. Okay, go ahead. Roger, KGPL. Time to reel this guy in, Phelps. No. 
No, please, no, God, no, 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 no. I'm sorry, sir. Police officer, I need your car. All right, Bukowski, hurry up. Get, get in the car. You don't care who gets in your way, do you? Not when it's not my car. Can we try to spare the general population, please? <laughs> Maybe. Jesus Christ! Are you asleep over there or what? Huh? What? What? Sleep? What? I don't know, I'm awake. I'm awake. <laughs> uh. Well, now you've either got to stop or put your fucking foot down. Wow, I, I, yeah. that's not a hot dog stand. Take it easy, Phelps. I'd rather get there in one piece. This is a hot dog corner, sir. You're I could go for some ribbit right now. What is it going on with that awning? Well, let's check the place out. Come on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What do we got here? Oh my god, they spin. Oh my god. Pikowski. Oh my god, look at these. Look at these blazers. They are delicious. Apartment number two. Because it's always apartment two for some reason. To the left. To the left. To the left. Help you, gentlemen. Hi, Mr. Carey. How can I help you, Mr. Black? You're under arrest. Look, I'm really sorry about this. I never tried to hurt anyone. I just needed to get away from L.A. I won't put up a struggle. Just call let me Mark. Get my he things. was starting to friend me over the ball jokes. I knew it. Phelps, go after him. I'll try and head him off in the car. Remember, the gun is the last resort. There's no point running, Adrian. You know, I don't know why Phelps kicked in the door. Because Mr. Black, get back here right now. He didn't. Lock it. He just slammed it and ran. He could have just gone. Stop right there, it's Adrian. over, Adrian. Why not just come clean with her, Black? Why the melodrama? I thought it would be easier. No, it just got a whole lot harder. Adrian Black, you're under arrest for conspiracy and fraud. We'll see what the DA has to say about wasting police resources on a wild goose chase like this. You're going to lose your wife? Lose your job and probably end up in the big house. I hope she was worth it, Adrian. Nope. That turned out to be quite some case, huh? Adrian, what an idiot. You got an arrest and a clearance in your first case, and in fine style, too. Well done, detective. Efficient investigation technique. Good public presence. <laughs> you keep that up and you learn from Bukowski here. Uh, you can go uh, a long good way public in this presence, department. that's a good one. Oh, good. Good public presence. Priceless. Alright. <laughs> good public presence. <laughs> Well, guys, that'll be it for today. Now that we got this case out of the way. And, uh, yep, this has been John. Feel free to like, comment, or subscribe if you feel so inclined. And, uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Take care.